I'm gonna be spending the night in the world's most haunted clown motel. That's right by this cemetery. Not just clowns that frighten the motel guests there. One guest said that uh, he woke up and there was a large life-size clown standing in front of his bed. The motel was built next to a cemetery that's more than a hundred years old. I never show this to kids. I hate clowns. This is my sister Cheyenne. She has been terrified of clowns her entire life. And today's goal is to face that fear at the world's most haunted clown motel. All right, it's nighttime now. Witching hour is upon us. It's time to go check out the room. I do not want to go in there now. Let's check it out. Dude, I don't like the vibes in here. I love them. I'm not going in there. Come on. No. Come on. No, 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 This is literally horrible. It is kind of sus in here. Let's discover around the room, guys. That's going to be staring at me all night. There's like weird little drawings all over the place. They all say little clown. Must be a rapper, local rapper. For some reason, they have two TVs in here. I've never seen that in my entire life. One of them's for us and one of them's for the clowns. This is the only hotel I've ever been in my life that doesn't have a Bible. Are you serious? I'm not sleeping in here. No way. Look at these posters. No way am I sleeping with them just staring at me. Dude, the eyes just follow me. So the owner told me a lot of weird stuff happens in the bathroom. I'm gonna go check it out. What the? F There's a weird drawing of a clown in here. I don't think this place is scary at all, but let's pull out the equipment. I have these EMF readers to detect if there's actually ghosts in here. Are you joking? What does that mean? They're electromagnetic field readers. They can detect when a spirit is near. Are you joking? No. Did you guys just press a button on it? No, I swear to God. Okay, bro. Put it back on the table. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually gonna throw up. This place is really starting to give us the creeps. So Big Matt just left the room to go get some water and the owner gave us this mask to scare him with. So we're gonna shut the bathroom door, turn on the shower and have Cordova leave the room so Big Matt thinks he's in here showering. And then randomly about 10 minutes from now, I want you just to enter the room with the clown mask on. He's gonna think you're in here. Oh my gosh, what? that is so creepy. Uh -huh. <laughs> he's gonna be so scared. It's gonna be so funny. Scared. Cause I fully expected it. This place doesn't freak me out at all. Well, I'm literally terrified. I say we split up. Big Matt will go to the cemetery alone. And Cheyenne will face her fear of clowns in the haunted clown room alone. The owner of this motel told us there's another haunted hotel next door. There's something there. That's where me and Cordova are gonna go. So the owner said most of the activity happens during witching hour. That's what we'll wait for. All right, off to center. Okay, this place is a little bit more creepy now. While we're waiting for 2 a.m., me and Cordova are gonna go to another haunted hotel. This place looks really creepy. So everyone's gone, and I keep hearing stuff, so I'm sitting right by the door to make sure that everything's locked. Killer Clown Motel there, creepy cemetery there. Let's dive in. There's a lot of graves. Rumor has it that the original owner of the Clown Motel is buried here. Most of the graves in the back are infants. It's like somehow the owner is connected to all of these clowns, and it really freaks me out. I'm here because of them. They want me here. Who? These clowns. What are the odds that there's two haunted hotels within a mile of each other? This town is weird. Every way looks the same. I'm gonna get lost in here. <laughs> Look how sketchy this staircase is. This is not a good idea. Why are these graves blocked off? I really don't like the fact that there's an empty chair over there, just in the middle of the graveyard. While Big Matt was exploring the graveyard, me and Cordova met a creepy ghost hunter who gave us some advice. What I would do, man, if I was y'all, I'd split up. Yeah? Split up. Go up different buildings and not, you know, go to everybody, go to a different floor. That's so scary to be by yourself, though. <laughs> I cannot believe I'm in here alone. I hate clowns. Witching hour is literally in 45 minutes. Me and Cordova just split up. I'm in here alone. So I'm kind of getting the feeling that I'm not alone in here. So I'm just gonna keep walking this way. And sometimes you feel like somebody falling. People all the time have experience. Temperature down, like 10 degree drop. This got super cold. I think that door's open. Yeah, the door's cracked open right there. If this thing beeps, then I'm getting the hell out of here. Oh. Oh, it's just a staircase with like blood. What was that? Every little noise just keeps making me jump. There are so many noises in here. This is so sketchy. No way. How come every haunted hotel has to have a screechy floor? It makes me really uncomfortable. I keep hearing something and it's actually scaring me. I don't know how much longer I'll be able to 
stay here. So I'm on the second floor and there's supposed to be a ton of activity. This is where they used to keep the maids and they say you can still see them going around cleaning things. This picture is terrifying. So I'm about to enter the scariest room in this hotel. It's called the Dempsey Room. Oh my god, I just got the chills. I did not like this at all. Oh my god. The guys need to hurry back. Dude, something moved over there. It's not even witching hour yet. If someone's staying in one of these rooms, open the door, I'd probably sh my pants. I am on high edge right now. 10 more minutes until it's 2 o'clock. It's getting closer and closer to witching hour, and I can feel it. It's getting intense in here. It's getting so close to two o'clock. Anyone that wants to communicate, please come forward. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> This entire town freaks me out. We need to get out of here, dude. <laughs> I want to go back to the room. I never thought I'd be happy to see the Clown Motel. <laughs> Hurry up. Go to San Francisco. This is crazy, huh? Toronto flights, Toronto flights, Toronto flights. Why are we doing this? Matthew, why are you making me do this? Did you guys lock the door? Why does it keep going off near me? I'm terrified. Every time I bring the sensor near the bathroom, it goes off like crazy. Let's check it out. It's going crazy at the toilet. I felt something touch my leg. I'm not even playing. It's the next morning. We heard noises all night last night. I did not like that at all, guys. Let's get out of here. Why would you do that? What? Why would you put that on your nose? <laughs>